hey guys, I am constantly telling you to make sure that you know everything, but if you're not aiming for those top, top grades, do you really, really need to know absolutely everything? Now, the honest answer to this is no. You don't need to know absolutely everything. Um, to help you learn absolutely everything, I've made you loads and loads of resources, free vision guides, flashcards, all over my website. Um, but sometimes you have to make sensible sacrifices. So, for example, um, in chemistry, we are pretty much certain that a question on ionic formula is going to come up. However, this is quite a tricky skill. Um, and in reality, it's only going to be worth one, maybe two marks. So is it a sensible decision to be spending two hours learning something that would get you one or two marks? Now, for those of you that want the top, top, top grades, then yes, you have to do that. Okay, there's no way um, that you can get the top, top grades without knowing absolutely everything really, really well. And even if you want to go and do A-level, you have to know everything really, really well. But if you're aiming for kind of like a good grade, not an amazing, but a good, solid, standard grade, then maybe all the little bits that, you know, the hard bits, the bits that are just on maybe like the higher tier that your teacher goes, well, this is really hard, this is the extension work, and you know it's only worth like one or two marks in the question, like in maths, like knowing all your accurate values for trigonometry. In reality, something like that, they can ask you most of multiple choice. I've seen it come up loads as a one mark multiple choice question. Now, they might ask a big, big question on it this year. They might do that. But if it takes you two or three hours to learn something, that's only going to be worth one or two marks. Where would you keep you spending those two or three hours learning like a big, big six mark question? Then you have to make the decision for yourself. Is it worth it? Because I'm not going to tell you what the right or wrong answer is. Because what will happen is going to like... I'll tell you you don't need to learn something, and you'll come back and be in an exam, and you'll come and go, I miss you, ruined my GCSE for me. As happens every single year. Um, but you need to make the sensible decision, and you need to make the decision for yourself. So if you're aiming for a good, solid grade, and there are two subjects that you're struggling with, one subject isn't going to be a lot of marks, one subject is going to be a lot of marks. Focus on a subject that is going to be worth a lot of marks. And if there is something that you are struggling, 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 struggling with, you cannot get your head around no matter how many hours you've slogged and slogged and slogged over this. If you're aiming for a good, solid grade, not top grades, a good, solid grade, then maybe stop it. Maybe you don't have to go over the same thing ten times and it feels like you're banging your head against a brick wall. It will go in eventually, I promise, but maybe your time would be better spent doing something else. Because we are literally weeks away from the exams, we do not have a lot of time left. You have to prioritise your time for the most important things, the things that you actually definitely need to know for the exams, um, the subjects that you definitely need to know, um, that you need to get the good grades in, and maybe you don't need to know absolutely everything ever.